Baffin's always just kind of had this mystique around it. It's a really wild place. You know, it's surrounded by big ranches. The King Ranch on the north and the Kennedy on the south. It's wild. And it's also home to a lot of really, really big speckled trout. I'm out of line. Follow, 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 follow. Sang this song a hundred times. <laughs> I met Darren Jones four years ago on a hunting trip in New Mexico. And we stayed up half the night just playing old haggard tunes. Darren always told me about wade fishing for trout in his home waters just south of Corpus Christi, Texas. But I had never made the time to come down and experience it for myself. We were planning to meet up with one of our favorite Texas country artists, Robert Earl Keane. But I got to camp a couple days early to learn the ropes and spend some time with my buddy Darren. Here we go, D. Oh, yeah. Cheers! Uh, cheers to you! <laughs> Keeper size? Oh yeah. I think I said we let these go into Crisco Bay. <laughs> now tell the male. Can you hear them grunting? Oh yeah. Yeah. Male trout. Aubrey and Sally Black own Baffin Bay Rod and Gun. They specialize in trophy speckled trout. And to say the least, Sally knows a little bit about fishing the Texas coast. It was very unexpected to find a woman at the boat ramp. Yeah. Right? So I'd always get, for a blonde, you can sure back up a boat trailer. <laughs> or, does your husband know you have his boat? <laughs> I'm like, this is my boat. <laughs> Sally was one of the first legit female guides on the Texas coast. She did it all. Yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I'm not fishing with a woman. I'm like, well, that's fine. I'll fish with her because she's a damn good fisherman. I'll put her up against anybody. Going on. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, man. Oh, what is that? You just can't get too big, Freaky's done this before. This isn't his first fish to fillet. How many fish have you filleted? Have you counted them? <laughs> no, but it's probably a lot. Every day. Every day. Robert Earl Keane met us for a morning on the water on Baffin Bay. And I didn't waste the opportunity to hear about the early years of his career. I just love the sound of the guitar. I just love the sound of how it just made, you know, one person could pick up a guitar and sing a song. I just got, I was enthralled with that whole idea. So when I was 18, I, I got a guitar and learned how to play a D chord, and I, I, I could strum it for five hours, just play it, play it, play it. We got stars. That's all you do, just, talk, just keep talking and the fish keep flying. <laughs> We're starting to get into a few of them now. When, when I think of Robert Earl Kane, I've been listening to him since, you know, he and I went to the same school. We both went to A&M. We're both Aggies. And, uh, but his song that, that sex with me the most is, you know, Corpus Christi Bay, because I was born on Corpus Christi Bay. Baffin Bay was everything that Darren had told me about, and getting to spend time with old friends and make new friends is what the hook is all about. And now it's time to head a little further down the road to meet up with some great friends in Rockport, Texas and look for big redfish. <laughs> 